Healthy soil, just like healthy people, requires a balanced combination of different elements. Each and every of these elements are very important in various processes of the plants. So nutrient management is still necessary, as it helps in the productivity of nursery systems as well as the good quality of soil. Here's an interesting fact for all of you. Did you know that billions of pounds of fruits and vegetables actually go to waste just by ordinary tea? Fruits and vegetable waste, which can be also known as FBW, will actually cause very serious environmental hazards such as the emission of greenhouse gases when it decomposes. Why not look at FBW from a different perspective? It actually also has the potential to become an organic fertilizer as it consists of most of the nutrients required by the plants. FBW should be treated as a rich source instead of a danger to the environment. Our innovation, ELA Einstein, is produced from the fermentation of sugar, fruit and vegetable waste, and also water. Organic waste such as banana peels, oranges, vegetable husks, onions, and also plant waste such as fallen leaves are used in this process. Research found that banana peels contain 3.25% phosphorus and 41.76% of potassium, as well as a host of other minerals that are essential to the soil healthy. In fact, banana peels have the highest organic source of potassium, which help in the movement of water and nutrients and regulate the photosynthesis. Moreover, orange peels are chock full of nitrogen, which is essential to good fertilizers. Besides, orange peels are also functional as an insecticide, as they kill the outfit and repeal ants, white flies, slugs, or other soft body garden pests. In addition, plant waste is the carbon source of the mixture, for which represent 20 to 13 parts of carbon per one part of the nitrogen in a mixture. Instead of using table sugar, we choose to use oil palm plants, which we call as opiate juice. Opiate juice is potential industrial fermentation substance, as it is high in sugars contained. Little do we know, oil palm plants can be converted into much and organic fertilizer. Being one of the largest palm oil producers in the world, Malaysia generated approximately 18 million tons of solid biomass from the oil palm industry in 2010. The major part of the solid biomass that are deposited on the plantation was found to be opiate. However, opiate contains cellulose and sugars that are needed for the production of biofuel and biochemical. Additionally, they provide mulching that helps to conserve the soil moisture and control the wheat growth. These sugars are obtainable from OPF by using a simple mechanical treatment. OPF are consistently available as they are pruned daily. Besides, OPF contain no impurities and does not inhibit microbial groups. The patient used the water from boiling eggs as the high amount of calcium from eggs will into the water during boiling. Besides, using the leftover liquid to water the plants, the plants will be enriched with the much needed calcium. Calcium is used by plants to strengthen cell leaves and stand micro uh, structural support to the plant cell wall. Supplying a sufficient amount of calcium will result in rapid and health growth of plants as the calcium will accelerate the cell division and also the cell expansion. To add on, the lead item consists of eggshells which are loaded with calcium carbonate as well as trace elements such as magnesium and also phosphorus. Their line contains will reduce the acidity from fermentation to maintain at the optimum pH value, which is in a range of 6.5 to 7.5. Apart from this, the eggshells will provide amino acids to the plants which will stimulate the root cells to open up channels which will absorb the calcium and plants can use these amino acids to synthesize proteins. Eggshells can act as a slow-release form of calcium to plants and the shreds of eggshells can even keep away the plants from pests such as the beetles, slugs and also snakes. As but not it, eggshells can also act as a mulch which will provide a striking accent in the garden. If you gather enough, you can even apply a layer of eggshells which is thick enough to deter the weeds. The hypothesis is to produce 100% organic fertilizer and pesticide. Now, we will talk about the variables. For the manipulated variable is the uh, immediate exam and result in the exam. Well, the constant variable is the amount of water, sun size of soil, and the type of soil. Lastly, the responding variable is the conditions of the plants after two weeks. Our innovation, ELA Design, has four main objectives. The first one is to reduce and replace the usage of chemical fertilizers. Secondly, it is hoped that ELA Design is able to act as a natural pesticide and herbicide. Thirdly, we hope that ELA Design is able to improve soil fertility and help with the growth of plants. And lastly, our objective is to promote natural gardening in homes and also to help in the agricultural industry. In order to obtain the observation and prove that our fertilizer is useful, we used the Iliazine fermented few months ago. We diluted the fertilizer using a ratio 1 to 1000 of Iliazine and water before spraying it on the plants. After two weeks, we found that the pot of green plant which we spray with Iliazine grew better than the pot of green plant which we did not. The pot of green plant we spray with Iliazine has healthier leaves, compared to the other pot of green plant which we did not use Iliazine. 
The color of leaves in the pot of green plant which we spray with eliazine is bright and even, while the color of leaves in the pot of green plant which we did not spray with eliazine is dark and scorched. Besides, there are some leaves eaten by pests. Apart from that, we also compared the soil fertility between the two pots of green plant. We found that the soil of the pot of green plant which we sprayed with eliazine has darker color and feels softer. For the other pot, soil has lighter color and feels compact. 